Hello there everyone. Thank you so much you guys for coming to the channel for watching the videos. Thank you so much. I love you guys so much. You're all welcome here wherever you are from, wherever you are. Come on in, have a seat. Let's do these readings for you guys. Okay, so tonight's readings are going to be uh, done by the extraterrestrials. They are messages received from the extraterrestrials directly by myself. Okay, and these messages are going to be done by star sign. Okay, the extraterrestrials have the most loving, amazing, beautiful, humbling energy, really. And I love them so much, these ones that I talk to. And they are full of love and full of light. And they're doing so much for us. We, we have no idea. Many people have no idea, okay, how much these... Uh, uh, energies are doing for us and these people and these creatures that are from other planets that are sentient that are intelligent spiritual and loving they are actually very very powerful and beautiful and do so much for us so i'd like to start by thanking them and welcoming you all in i will start this reading by doing a prayer that i always do whenever i communicate with them so um, I was asked by them to do this prayer. They also need me to do this prayer so that they communicate clear, can communicate clearly, clearly and there's no interference. Okay, so let's start. Spirit of the Most High, we call upon you. Spirit of the bearers of the white light, we call upon you. Spirit of the mothers, we call upon you. Spirit of the fathers, we call upon you. And the siblings, we call upon you. Children of the corn, we call upon you. Holders of the holy horn, we call upon you. Pleiades cluster attend. Arcturus attend. Orion attend. Canis Majoris and beyond attend. Ursa and the North Star attend. Council of the Stars attend. Protectors, guiders, healers and watchers attend. From those that give the light under the name of the Lord attend. We seek refuge in the Most High God from any and all devils, demons, and negative energies. Lord, protect us. Lord, grant us success. Lord, protect us. Lord, grant us success. Lord, protect us. Lord, grant us success. Amen. Thank you, you guys. Amen. Right, you guys. So, this one is going to be for the water signs. So, let's start, you guys. Okay. So the first sign I'm started to be um, guided to start with is Pisces. So they are saying Pisces. First of all, you're really shining, and your love is very powerful for yourself and for others. Okay, and the extraterrestrials connect to this energy, and they do feel it very strongly. There is a love connection here, and they show me this candle, but it's not burning as brightly as it should be. Excuse me, it's a little bit dim, the light. You see, I burped. When I burped, that means an obstacle's been removed. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard the last reading, you Pisces. This happened in your last reading as well. There was an obstacle that's been removed. I have a relative of mine. She's so funny. She wants to read people. She will sit there and burp and burp and burp. And the people, would be, we'd be so embarrassed. We'd be like, oh my God, she started burping it. So, <laughs> but everyone that has a reading with her, when they leave... They have all of the obstacles that they've had will have been removed. Okay, so this is a very strong sign that we know it's a sign of an obstacle being removed. I'm also getting the energy of renewal with you guys and healing. Okay, so someone is getting a new wardrobe or you're buying new clothes, which is, look, is looking very nice. I'm also seeing like a lot of there's someone doing DIY in their home or changing the appearance of the inside of their home. Let me know in the comments if that's you, you guys. It's so beautiful. I'm getting the energy here is very, very strongly, though, that someone is stuck on someone and they can't really move beyond them. It is an energy of someone very strong as well. Like the person who is stuck on the other person is strong. Okay, it's a masculine energy that's stuck on a feminine energy, and he's very strong. I'm seeing like weights and exercise machines. I always see this in your reading, Pisces. Let me know, you guys. Come on. Don't leave me in the dark. I don't know everything. <laughs> I'm joking, you guys. But honestly, there's here like um, 
someone who exercises really well and they're saying well done the extraterrestrials the extraterrestrials love it when we do exercise when we eat well and look after our, our health and you know we're strong physically and it helps you um also like really own your spiritual side when you do that okay and it it, it helps me personally with, with my communication with them it's clearer I've got more control over the messages. I can see more. I can hear more and so on. Now, I am still getting this energy of someone stuck on someone. And it's a very persistent energy. My God, it's like someone who's so persistent. They don't give up. They don't know the meaning of the word to give up. Okay, this masculine here. There's some of, for some of you, this will be an LGBT connection because I'm seeing a rainbow here. Now, I am seeing as well that someone is coming and... It literally looks like someone wants to give another person a gift of some kind. Okay, and that is like such a beautiful energy because I'm seeing a Christmas tree. And then on top of that tree, there's someone all dressed in all red. Um, and I think some green or something or some black. And then they have this big bag with them with gifts in it that they want to give to someone. And I feel that it's powerful this this um this symbolism i do feel that this energy is a feminine energy though that it has the gifts she's or maybe someone views you if you're the feminine pisces someone views you as like the girl with all the gifts or <laughs> or something okay so you have all the gifts and you're like on top of the christmas tree like the best gift and almost out of reach kind of thing. Okay, there's something very romantic here, very romantic. It is a very healing connection as well. And I do feel that this connection is definitely going to happen. It's coming with a lot of abundance for you guys as well. There's some good news coming to you guys about money. Something to do with money. Okay, there's something that has, they're telling me something has broken down and something else that's more powerful and more... And amazing is being built on top of that thing that's crumbled, okay? And there is also this energy of good news with regards to abundance. It's either a letter or a check in the post or maybe you get paid in the beginning of the month. I don't know. But there is an energy of money here, okay? And I'm also really seeing this gift and this gift looks like a very precious, like, item of jewelry or something as well that someone is giving to someone okay and it's like uh, i feel that it's connected to christmas but it's also connected to this love connection it's so interesting because i see here a masculine that's very big very tall broad and the feminine is shorter and petite you know or more petite than the a lot more petite than the masculine the difference is very big okay it's so funny because the guy is so tall and big and the girl is like a little bit smaller okay now i am seeing here that this feminine in particular especially if that's you pisces you're someone who's getting many suitors it's not just one person it's like there's a few people who are interested in you here okay and if you're the masculine listening this feminine that you're going towards She's very sought after. There's a lot of people who are interested in her, okay? Now, I am seeing here as well someone who likes nuts or you've been eating nuts or something, almonds or something. I'm also seeing um, like a bag with these nuts in it and it's open and there's some of them that are being eaten already. Let me know in the comments if that's you. If that's you, Pisces, then there's this, definitely a message in this reading for you that's very powerful, Okay. I'm also smelling cinnamon. I don't know if some of you have been cooking with it or burning it, you know, um, or like you have an essential oil that you've been diffusing, but I'm smelling a strong smell of cinnamon and that's a very good smell, okay, for this time of the year and for also for just generally attracting amazing things. Cinnamon can attract money, it can attract love, it can attract anything that we want, okay? As long as we use it and we pray over it and we use it with the holy text, whatever your holy book is, it really does work, especially if you believe in that book, yeah? These holy books, they activate the herbs on, on a molecular level. So someone here is really happy about... 
I'm seeing happiness like joy coming into this connection. Okay, there's some obstacle that's been removed and I'm 100% sure that there was an obstacle, but it has been removed and I've been repeating this. I think I think I saw this in your last reading passes and the one before it. And then after that, I'm seeing a lot of joy, a lot of abundance, a lot of interest in what you do. A lot of people telling you how nice you look, how nice you are. They're not being stingy with their comments. They're not being like uh, holding back in any way. There's so much attention, so much beautiful attention here. And the, spirit, the spirits are saying that the ETs have been working with the spirits and all of them to bring unions together and you're not being left out of the list. So expect to have an amazing Christmas, you guys, and a beautiful new year, okay? And I think by New Year's, you're going to be in the arms of someone cozily wrapped up in each other's arms. And it's so beautiful, you guys. I love you guys so much. You guys are amazing, Pisces. You are really amazing. And I love you guys and adore you guys. Okay, so let's move on now to... The sign of Scorpio. Right, so Scorpio, you as well are entangled in a very passionate affair and it's heating up. Like they show me this heating, this these flames and they're heating something up. And it's like a constant heat. It's something that someone is feeling all the time. Okay, and it's not letting them rest kind of thing. Okay, I feel that you would like some relief from this like you know constant energy but it's just not happening okay i'm also seeing here it could be an lgbt connection as well because i am seeing a rainbow now i think as well here that it's just such powerful energy that is mind boggling like the feminine in this connection she has so much energy so much good energy so much loving energy and an allure and an attraction that is very, very unique. And it's very hard in the masculine's mind in this connection. He's looking at her and he's thinking, I'm, I've never seen anybody like this and I don't think I ever will, you know, kind of thing. She's something, okay. And I think that f this feminine, it looks to me as if she likes to wear the color red or these people like the both of you. Feminine and masculine like to wear the color. There's someone who likes pastel colors, black and gray and blue, navy. But then the other person likes red and maroon. And this is the feminine, I think. She likes red and maroon. There's also the color orange and the color yellow. Okay, I'm seeing these colors very distinctly. They're very strong, okay? Now, there is uh, someone... There's communication on an... Um, astral level they're telling me that ethereal communication between these two people there's a psychic connection for sure okay and out of all the people that could have been with this feminine there is one particular person that she's interested in if you are the masculine scorpio listening to this you are the one that this feminine will pick or has picked okay because i feel that she's got an overflow of love uh, or will have soon there's many people who are interested in her and it's like she's almost attainable, unattainable. She's so beautiful. She's got it all together. Um, and you, Scorpio, if you're the masculine, you, she heals you. Okay. I feel that the feminine energy here definitely heals the masculine energy a lot. It's like she's... It's like if you're the feminine Scorpio to this guy, you're like he, you're like he, you, his, you're his medicine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is very nice. I'm also seeing there's going to be an over... It's like when they want to talk to you, um, the masculine, when they want to talk to this feminine, there's an overflow of communication. It's very beautiful. It's very passionate. She can feel that this person is just like really smitten by her. And she can feel from the overflow of communication how much this person is actually prepared to do because and that's i think what's making him stand out is because he's so attentive he's so emotionally caring especially if he's a water sign masculine let's say a water sign generally 
they are very good at looking after people emotionally, okay? And they are very good at looking after people's emotions, okay? I mean, my brother's a Scorpio, and when I talk to him, I feel... I feel that he heals me sometimes. You know, he's, the words that he says, his choice of words, they get me on a very deep level. Okay, they heal me. Okay, it's like I remember one time I was so upset about something and he just said one sentence to me. And that sentence, like, it diffused my energy. Okay, my, my anxiety, my worry. So I feel that especially if this connection is a friendship now and is starting they both of these people are healing each other but the masculine in this connection is feeling healed by the feminine and it's like she's a drug or medication to him like she's like medicine to him <laughs> okay now i'm seeing the color gold as well now maybe some of you like it let me know in the comments i am seeing a new message or communication coming from this masculine towards the feminine okay and it is like very well planned very well written okay but the one thing that they're asking me to give as advice if there's a masculine here listening and you want to you're a scorpio and you want to go towards the feminine they're saying don't hold back tell her everything and be open with her i'm also feeling that this connection is very supported by the ets they're telling me that they are supportive of this connection because this connection means a lot for these people and also because these two people are very special and also for the world at, at large they're telling me there's going to be something that has to do with global a global energy of a global something okay and they're saying that this is definitely going to be a beautiful relationship that's going to heal so many people. There's also people getting dreams here. You're getting dreams about someone. And that person, if you're seeing them in, in your dreams, it means that there's a very strong connection, it's astrally, like I said, or a psychic connection. And I feel that you are intuitive. Scorpios are very intuitive and they have a lot of psychic energy and they could be like... They could be the best psychic, you know, if you if you have the right training and you've got the right environment. Scorpio, there's nothing that you cannot do, especially when it comes to psychic things. They keep turning my head and I when they turn my head, I see a hat. Okay, and it's like a cowboy hat and I don't understand what this is. I don't know if you guys have that. It's like the hats that the cowboys wear in the south of the United States. It's incredible. Because I, I saw it and then I ignored it and I saw it again, I ignored it. And then a third time they fixed the ETs. They like gave it to me as if it was like on a screen and there was only a cowboy hat on the screen. <laughs> so maybe someone likes to wear these hats or cowboy hats, I don't know. But it's like beautiful and someone has like, I'm seeing blonde, a blonde person. Whether it's a man or a woman, but it's someone blonde, someone very blonde and very beautiful very attractive, okay, sexually attractive, physically attractive, okay, and I'm seeing that this person is just on fire, okay, for the other person, okay, whether you're a masculine or feminine, there's such a powerful pull here, if this isn't in your life already, Scorpio, they expect it to show up soon, I'm also seeing that someone is worrying about, uh, worried about finances or abundance, but the ETs are saying to me to tell you that this is not going to be an issue. Let's go forward with this connection because the, the money and the finances, they're not going to really be an issue. This is going to happen anyway. And they said in the end, this couple are going to be loaded in the end anyway. It's like I feel this masculine wants to offer the feminine something, but uh, he feels that maybe he's not got enough to give her what she deserves or give you what you deserve, Scorpio, the, your masculine. Um, and, but, but they're saying here, if you're cross-watching, if you're watching, if you're masculine watching, they're saying, go ahead and don't worry. Anything you give this feminine, she will understand. She will love it, okay? The thing it, about you that stands out to her is not the money. It's the actual, you know... Um, things that are happening and, and, and the characteristics that you have that make her um, more likely to accept your offer and love you, 
Okay, now there is someone praying. I, I feel prayer. They're saying your prayers are answered. There's also an energy here of abundance coming to all of you guys. So much abundance and expansion. And they're telling me it's coming through good connections and good relationships and goodwill. Okay, there's so much abundance behind this. Um, See, I burp. This burp, it means an obstacle has been removed. <laughs> A hundred percent. There was some kind of minor obstacle, but it's going to be removed. It could be distance. It could be like that there was some kind of uh, envy or jealousy or something like that. Okay. Now, I am feeling that this connection is also going to be kept safely hidden for some reason. People are not going to be telling people about it. And that's excellent. You know, that's the advice that I give everyone. Uh, when you glue something, a piece of art, if you glue it together, you wait for the glue to set before you show it you know, show it off to people and like, you know, show it. Um, it makes it more secure. And I think that it's, um, or it could be, this is something that is not going to be given, you know, to people like, um, people will not know about it, you know. Um, so that's, uh, that's good. Uh, that's good. It's a very special connection. It's a lovely connection. It's a ve it's very protected connection as well. Um, and I do feel that there's a lot of healing involved here. And someone um, has been drinking, they've cut down on their drinking, which is really good because I think that it's a masculine that I'm feeling and because I think the feminine, this connection, she will find it very uh, repulsive because she's been through experiences with people who've been drinking or something. I, I'm feeling this energy from someone, okay? Let me know in the comments, you guys. Just know that this person that's coming towards you is going to be perfect for you. Wow, wow, did you hear that? It's, uh, I've got a crystal here. It just moved. It moved and it, and, it, and it stuck to the other crystal. There's no magnets in them. Wow, that's amazing, you guys. I feel for some of you, this is definitely an LGBT connection, but it doesn't have to be. It, in any connection counts here. We just see the energies as masculine and feminine energies here in spirituality. We don't really see man and a woman. Okay, actually, you know, if we look at something, it's female and or a feminine energy and a masculine energy. And I'm feeling someone is coming to visit someone. I'm hearing a, a car horn, like going beep, beep, or someone is coming to visit someone. Okay, so it's very beautiful energy, you guys. I love you guys so much. You're going to be fantastic. You're going to have a beautiful and amazing Christmas. And the new year is going to be the most powerful love energy you've ever felt in your life okay i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in your next reading please remember to like share and subscribe and also to check out my extraterrestrial messages and revelations series on the playlists okay of my channel i love you guys so much check the pre the most recent prediction as well it's it's come true okay i just saw in the news today i was surprised but oh i always i'm always surprised but <laughs> this time it's yeah it manifested now. It was it was right. They said a week. And when I was doing the reading, I thought to myself, a week is really, you know, it's not a long time. You know, I, when I get these visions and stuff, sometimes I feel that they might not happen. But it's just me. You know, we're only human. Sometimes we doubt. But I knew that it would happen eventually. They've never been wrong with me. So make sure you check out this prediction. Okay, I love you guys so much. The ETs love you. They're very proud of you. They're here to support you and to make this love connection happen for real. Okay, I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Right. So now let's talk about the beautiful sign of cancer. You guys come into this reading with a lot of power. Okay. A lot of power and in many different ways, okay? There is the spiritual power, but there's also a physical energy of power as well here. It's very beautiful, okay? And I'm feeling that someone here is... It's like the, you're just taking time out to kind of think about things. The extraterrestrials are watching you build something or like make something, bring something into like move something on, bring something into action, okay, like make something happen. And they want you to know that they're watching over this, okay, and that they're going to make sure that it happens. It has to do with a very important love connection that's going to be important for people all around the globe because these two, when they come together, they're going to be changing lives. I'm also seeing someone who has a UFO, 
um, toy or something, or I'm seeing this UFO like model or something, and some with someone in their home. Let me know, you guys, in the comments. <laughs> There's really a UFO here, or, or a t shirt with a UFO drawing or something, but it looked more like a plastic model to me. I'm also seeing this like lighting, blue lighting, or like something like that, UV light, or something like that in someone's home. And it's very beautiful, okay? It's a very beautiful setting. The extraterrestrials are saying that you, Cancer, have the power of answered prayers, they're saying, and that when you pray, your prayers are very powerful and they get answered in a very powerful way. So they're saying keep praying. They're saying you're getting really good news with regards to abundance of money. By the end of the year, you're going to have so much money, you're going to be surprised, Okay. I'm also feeling here for an, an, in an LGBT connection, okay, there is some communication. If that's you, let me know in the comments, you guys. If you're LGBT, you're getting some kind of connection, okay, communication, or someone is making communication towards you online. Because I'm seeing internet, internet lines, okay? So this communication is coming online through the internet. And it's something that's going to make you so happy and make bo both of these people so happy, okay? The feminine here is going to feel like Christmas came early, okay? She's absolutely going to be blown away by it, okay? The number 10 is significant for someone here, the number 5 as well, okay? And I'm seeing like maybe it's hap happen it happens between the 5th and the 10th of December, for example, let's say. Um, big things will happen, okay? I'm also seeing someone here who likes citrus flu fruits or like tangerines or oranges or something. Could be even lemons. But they're saying that's good. The ETs love it when we eat healthy, when we exercise and so on. So they're saying like, you know, use this to your advantage. The fruits are very nutritious and there's so many vitamins in them and they help strengthen your immunity and they do so many things, Okay. You and this other person are soulmates, Cancer, okay? And this is an answered prayer. Someone's prayer has been answered for this. And they are saying that this is being overseen by the ETs because the ETs are very interested in this love union coming together. And in fact, they're interested in all love unions all over the planet coming together because when these union comes together, the vibration of the planet raises totally. Okay, there's also an obstacle here that's been removed completely and there's someone who's coming to the other for a service. It's like a client. Okay, so if you have your own, own business and it's online cancer, maybe someone will message you online. Okay, and that's how it's going to start. Okay, it's just so beautiful. And I'm getting the energy here of people who are very powerful, both the masculine and the feminine. Okay, spiritually. Okay. And the ETs are just absolutely smitten by these two. Okay, you guys stand out and you guys are so beautiful. You operate, both of you, in truth. It's like a truth is going to be revealed. Okay, the truth is going to be revealed and the truth will set both of these people free. They are saying that it's going to be like, maybe this connection when it happens could be hidden a little bit in the beginning. But then it's, it's going to... When it grows, as it grows and so on into the future, it could be revealed to some people. I don't know what this is, especially if this is an LGBT connection. Maybe it's going to be kept under wraps. OK, but it's looking gorgeous. I'm also seeing more people interested in you and in what you do, Cancer. And you really are getting a written communication that is good news about your finances or someone in this connection is. OK, some kind of good news. OK, it's about that. They're using they're saying for you. A herb that will help you very much during this time is black pepper. Black pepper, when you use it, it keeps negativity away and it sends bad energy back to the source. Okay, so if you just keep it next to you like a plate of black pepper or use the essential oil, add just one drop, say, to your perfume or whatever and see if you can tolerate it, then add it and use it from your head to your feet in that direction. And as you use it, pray. Pray to God the Most High to remove all negativity, to open your way and so on. And even if you have holy books, read from them because these holy texts, they activate the herbs on, um, on a, molecular, a molecular level, okay? And they become much more stronger. The difference is very stark, okay? So this, they're saying use black pepper. It will help open the way to you and it will help remove 
all competition and negativity from your path, okay? Especially if you're a masculine, because I feel that this feminine has a lot of competitors, okay? And it's like, this is like someone who is, I'm also seeing someone intellectual here, like the feminine is intellectual or she has a degree of some kind, okay? So this is a very powerful sign here for you guys. This is definitely going to be successful. Everything you touch is going to be successful. Cancer, don't you worry at all, not even one bit, okay? You're having the most amazing Christmas you've ever had and the most amazing New Year's ce celebration you've ever had. And, I mean, it's just beautiful. I'm seeing the letter H here for someone. H, um, first or second names in any order. It doesn't have to be uh, the initials, okay? Um, and I am also seeing here that someone is from, like, the, the his his this is masculine energy. The father is from one country and the mother is from another country. I'm feeling an LGBT connection in here again, but it doesn't have to be. Any connection will work. Okay, this is a beautiful connection. It's protected on so many levels. We pray for you that it happens very quickly. That this comes, um, this whatever it is that is not clear becomes clear to you it will become clear to you with the energy of this full moon and you guys will be amazing someone here is very protective over the other person as well it's so beautiful you guys you guys are amazing i love you guys so much this is all i have for you guys and i will see you guys in your next reading be blessed always you guys please remember to like share and subscribe so you motivate me to put more stuff out for you guys and also check out my extraterrestrial messages and revelations series on the playlist section you guys are gorgeous i love you guys so much and i really feel that you guys are uh, you know incredible i trust you guys with everything okay you guys are amazing okay and i and i know that you know there is a reason for you there was a reason or there is a reason for you coming to watch this really got to hear it, okay? I pray that you are safe, healthy, wealthy, loved, and happy forever and ever and ever. Cancer, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Thank you so much, you guys.